Can I retire at 65 with $1.2 million? Today's video, we're gonna run this example, a basic version of it through our financial planning software. I'm John Gregg, your certified financial planner with APSAdvisor.com, where we help our clients plan for a comfortable retirement. Now we start with all the basic info. Here we have our boy Johnny Cash and his wife June Cash, which obviously are not real people, or they are real people, but not a real situation here. So we have, uh, they have a son named John, and then they have their John, the Cash Family Trust. Now let's look at the income they have, right? So they're still working, they're 62, and uh, June's making 125,000, Johnny's making 110,000, and they both have social security. So when they retire at full retirement age, we have them taking it at 67. Here we have what they will be receiving. So now one of the big questions here are their expenses. So how much are they actually needing in retirement? And that's really one of the big questions here. So in this example we have, let's, let's put this at 6,000 to start with. And we're gonna update this and look at what goals we have. So the goals are going to be both of them retiring at 65. Now, if your situation is a little more complex, which most people are, they have more situations going on. Maybe they want to pay for their children's college. Maybe they want to do a big remodel on their house or go on vacations every year. Vacations are a big budget for most of our clients. Or maybe they want to buy a boat or, or something like that. We can always plan for that within the software. And we, we go through here, we're looking at their accounts. So we mentioned $1.2 million. They have, well, first off, they have a mortgage. So let's not forget about that. Uh, $800,000 loan at 3.75 and it is $4,500 per month. So that goes on top of what we said already with the expenses. Now there's $600,000 in employer 401k plan. So it's important to remember that this money has not been taxed yet. So when it comes out, it is going to be counted as taxable income. So this money is less valuable than money that would be in a trust because that money has already been taxed. So we have $600,000 of taxable money and $600,000 of money that has already been taxed that isn't gonna to count toward our ordinary income. Let's move forward to the other assets, which is their house, right? They have a $1.2 million house, but we're not gonna use that to fund any of the retirement. If we wanna look, we can take a look at insurance. They don't have any, but if you were to plan for long-term care or life insurance, something along those lines, we always talk to our clients about that as well. So we can see here their investments are 1.2, their mortgage is 800,000, their other assets, their house is 1.2, so they have a total net worth of $1.6 million. Not too bad, right? And this plan works out. Now, when we're looking at this, we're looking at something kind of in a vacuum because the stock market doesn't give uh, consistent returns. We're not getting six or 7% every single year. We're getting 14 and then we're getting minus four and then we're getting eight and then two and then it averages together at six or seven percent, right? That's that's typically what you should be aiming for. Um, and if we look at what's called a Monte Carlo simulation, this is going to take your situation, it's gonna run it through 500 different market scenarios and tell you the likelihood of you being successful in retirement and not running out of money, right? That's what we talk about when we say success, it's running out of money. So here, they're in great shape. If they're spending $6,000 per month plus their 4,000 for the mortgage, and they are getting social security and retiring at 65 with that 1.2, they're doing great. They're, they're most likely going to have a successful retirement and not really have to worry about much. Now, one thing I wanna add is when you talk about that 6,000, there is inflation on that, right? That is growing at an inflationary rate. And over the past couple of years, we've seen inflation and how important it is to plan for it 
because sometimes it can really you know be substantial so the mortgage is not growing because that's fixed right we have a 30-year fixed but those variable expenses of six thousand dollars your living expenses are growing all right so let's see what happens if we just increase their living expenses by fifteen hundred dollars per month so we're going from six thousand to seventy five hundred right so what we're kind of trying to do is break it how much can you actually spend and not run out of money that's the question we want to answer so if we're looking here we're at 7500 and we go back to the uh, overview here we see that well it in fact did break it let's take a look at what the monte carlo simulation says and i'm guessing it's going to be yeah so it's 30 percent so that's not good enough you're not going to be able to fix that and so that means that we're spending too much so probably somewhere between that six and seven thousand range is going to be the amount that you can actually spend in retirement so one thing that uh, we find really helpful with with our clients is when we're going through the cash flow so you can see uh, right here up top we have both uh, Johnny and June working. Here's their income, right? No problem. And here is where Johnny retires and it's just June's income coming in. So now we're starting to take distributions. So that's coming directly from the investment accounts, okay? Because we have to pay for the taxes. We have to pay for this liability, which is the mortgage, and then living expenses. So as we kind of go across here and we look more at, um, you know, life happening and now Johnny and June are retired. So one of the social security has kicked in. Now we're taking a huge amount from the investment account. So that's a large withdraw. So you're going from 53 to $132,000. That's, that's substantial there. And now we're going to see both Social Security has kicked in. So now we are taking quite a bit less. We're jumping down from 130 to 92 to pay for our expenses. And if we scroll over to two, let's see, 20, where are we at? Let's see when the mortgage ends here. So the mortgage is finally ended, right? So expenses are going to go down quite a bit, but we're still taking out a lot of money. Now, remember, this is the scenario where you're spending 7,500. This is not the 6,000 where it worked out. And as we go over, we see that at the age of 91 and 89 is when the client finally runs out of money. So this is where the system saying you're earning you know five six seven percent every single year opposed to what the market actually does which is it gives you again the 14 the two the negative eight and it averages to that six seven eight percent this is a very basic example so your situation is going to be different do not use this as financial advice but rather as you know kind of gaining your knowledge so when you are planning for your own retirement you know what to look for if you're interested in working with us and actually putting together a financial plan for you you can reach out at apsadvisor.com backslash getting started i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in the next video